Hi, everybody. I am um, Nicole Fecto, chairman of the Berwick Planning Board and a local real estate agent here actually working on getting some new business. But I wanted to hop on real quick and just do a little video about um, site walks, public hearings, and the planning board. We've got some hotly contested applications. There's a fly in my house. Um, hotly contested applications right now in front of the board and we've got some site walks and public hearings coming up so I wanted to just kind of um, I guess set the expectations of the public so that you know what the processes are and how they're run I think people tend to come into these meetings and they they get angry because there's a certain time when the public can participate and there's a certain time when the public cannot. So it's not a free for all of, if you come to a meeting, you can get up and, and um, speak about applications. It's, uh, there's, there are just a lot of rules around it. So um, site walks, we have a site walk this Thursday. I believe it's at 4.30 and it's at the um, application that's on Diamond Hill Road. So I believe it's near the top of the hill. I don't have the address right in front of me right now, but I can put it in later. So the site walk, the purpose of the site walk is for the planning board and the public to get a visual idea of where the project is and what the project will entail. So it's basically the engineers show up, the applicant generally shows up, and they they walk us through. I know we asked them to have the um, the center line of the proposed road staked out. So they'll just walk us through where the road is. I know we're going to look at um, where the open space is at that project. So that's the point of a site walk. A site walk is not a public hearing. We can't have a back and forth dialogue with the public and the um, and the applicant or the or the engineers because then it's considered a public hearing and it needs to be documented. So I try to document as much as I can just in writing, but unless we're recording it, we can't have that be a meeting. So if the site walk turns into a dialogue, just know that, um, so we have this one at Diamond Hill, we've got one at the Pine Hill Road, the, the old moral, form, uh, moral farm, sorry, project in two weeks. If that turns into the public asking a lot of questions and dialogue between the engineers and, and the abutters and the public and the applicants, I have to shut down the site walk. We need everything to be very well documented. And what we do is that's why we have the public hearing. So for Diamond Hill Road, there's no public hearing set yet. So if you have something to say, um, the, the, the application is not on our agenda for Thursday. So you will not be able to speak about, there's no public hearing about it on Thursday. So there will be no public participation in the Diamond Hill Road um, application this week. So if you're coming to talk about it, hold your thoughts, write them down, bring them during the public hearing. We can't have the public talking during the public comment session about any application that's open at, on our agenda or any application that's open at the time. So um, there's a specific time for that and we are um, we follow the rules in on the board and then um, yeah in two weeks we'll have the the site walk for the pine hill road moral farm subdivision and i don't think we've set a public hearing for that either i believe the public hearing for that is likely to be in november so if you're looking to speak on that again wait for the public hearing on it. You're more than welcome to come to the site walks. I just wanna set everybody's expectations that it is not going to be a dialogue. There's, It's not gonna be a question and answer session unless it's, uh, you know, like where would this lot line be? That's that's a good question to ask during a site walk, um, but it's, it's definitely not a back and forth. And we have to make sure that we follow these rules because these are very contested. Um, people are very emotional about these applications. I'll say that we, you know, this isn't the first time we've dealt with something like this. This happens every day in every town. Um, it's not just Berwick. Uh, so we, we may need to make sure that we follow the rules so that we have um, order in our meetings and that, so that everything is accurately documented. And that's one of the most important things. So if you have any questions about any of those applications or anything else on the planning board agenda, please feel free to send me a message. You can message me directly. If um, you know me, you know I'm very responsive. I will respond probably immediately. I mean, I'm a real estate agent. My job is to respond to people. So I'm always available 
uh, unless I'm asleep or doing something super important. But um, so that's that. Feel free to, to send me a message on Facebook since that's where you're watching this and I'm happy to respond. I'm happy to help you out with um, if you need the dates of anything and um, or the address or anything like that. I'm very accessible uh, for those questions. So hopefully we'll see you at the site walk on Diamond Hill Road Thursday at 4.30. We're starting to do our site walks a little bit earlier and I believe we're also going to be doing some on Saturdays. So I think we have um, the Heritage Estates one is going to be on a Saturday and the one at the edge is going to be on a Saturday also. And that is just because we have so many applications coming in and we don't want to have to um, delay people's projects because the planning board is really busy. So that's all. I can figure out how to turn this on.